And welcome to Spicy Reacts. <laughs> We're gonna react to a Tyler Aloe Vera video. Um, quick disclaimer though, this is not my video, I did not create it. If you wanna watch the original, it'll be the links will be down below. And the title is, I snuck into Bahamian Grove. That's me sneaking inside Bohemian Grove. Bohemian Grove. I gotta run. <laughs> An invite-only oh, secret no. society of American elites who gather in the woods two weeks out of every year to decide the future of the world and conduct human sacrifice rituals in front of a 40-foot owl god named Moloch. Right, or what? so the rumors say. Many have begun wondering what actually goes down here after famous boxer Ryan Garcia said this. The babies, babies, guys, babies. They're eating babies, literally. And I'm the crazy one. So they're in with these bankers and former presidents yes. and, and some guy brings over something that it's an effigy that's supposed to be a body yeah and then they drop it on the fire and they're all worshiping an owl god but this is crazy into the grove what do the locals nearby know right in front of me we got the hoot owl you guys know what the owl is uh well yeah that's that's no 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 Oh, no? <laughs> no, we're just walking around and talking. I thought you saw it. We can walk away, though. We're just trying to learn what's going on with the owl. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. You don't know. The locals were immediately on guard. You know anything about the Bohemian Grove? I worked there before, yeah. You worked there? Yes. Whoa, what did you see? Uh, a lot of things that I cannot talk about. Actually? Yeah. Would you give us, um, theoretically, what might you have seen if someone were to work there? I cannot talk about that. Did you sign a document? Mm, nope. That I cannot talk about. Partake in anything? Have a wonderful day, sir. Okay. Wow. Please be uh, careful, okay? Be careful? Do you think we're dealing with things that are much more powerful? Well, I can say. What did he see? Damn. Did Bohemian Grove? This is yeah, weird. This is like 10, 15 years ago. Oh, I don't want to be on camera. Oh. You know, they planned That's the bombing the same where everybody went down beside me there. What was that? I, never mind. Everyone here knew <laughs> something about the Grove until they saw my little camera. It's probably not a good place to be going unless you know what you're doing. What do you mean? Um, there's a lot of rich, uh, crazy people up there. You're trying to get in? I, my father was in. Oh, he was in the club? Yeah. Who was he? He was a Mason. Oh, he was a Mason? 39th. Did you inherit his will? His mm, Freemason will? I can't, I can't disclose that. Okay. Is there anything we should know? Mm, probably not. Probably, probably, you, you want to mess with it? Okay. No, I'm done here. All right, all right. Thanks so much for your time. Appreciate you. What would, happen, what would happen? I don't know. You know anything about the Bohemian Grove? I know lots about the Bohemian Grove. Would you like to share? No. Is it, uh, is there some darkness to it? Don't film me. Hit the road. Okay. Yeah, you can't really get up there, then. Can't get in? You seen any crazy things or no? Sometimes. This yeah. is some weird vibes. Like naughty naughty goes up there, you know. They just let things go free and let loose. But luckily, I found a nearby crystal store with a lady who claimed to have folded George Bush's underwear when they came to town. Is there anything about the Bohemian Grove? Too much. Too much? What do you know? I have actually folded laundry for the Bohemian Grove before when I needed to. So all of their laundry is processed through the laundromat. Oh, interesting. Like, this is gay peeping at its finders. Just tell us. I want to know. They're not letting you or they're not telling you. It makes you want to know more. That is around the corner. So I have folded George Bush's sheets for heaven's sakes. Uh, you will start to see a lot of helicopters flying in directly to the property. Um, Bill Clinton's been there. George Bush has been there. It has been rumored that the next president has always decided there before it occurs, but that is a rumor. I have literally had Grovers. Some dude forgot his credit card and handed me his Grove card as collateral. And I'm Whoa. like, Bro Grove ID. And before the Grove happens, you watch a bunch of limos with high end hookers come in. They're not allowed to bring women back to the facility, but the boys will stay off campus there. The other things that happen is they hit up all of the locals and where they can get drugs every effing year. <laughs> there was a gentleman that I was blessed to serve at Main Street's bar for about six years. He actually lived on the Grove year round. You have to be exceptionally rich. You have to be like vetted in through family. And I believe he spent his dying years there. He was actually one of the really nice dudes. He would come into Main Street three times a week for dinner and drinks. Um, it matters not what you have in life. It is how you treat others. So he was one of those that treated the janitor and the CEO with the same dignity and respect. But not all Grovers are the same. <laughs> It's kind of spitting the facts. Well, I don't know if they're facts or not, but sounds like it. 
While only elite, wealthy, and famous men are invited, combined with the extreme secrecy and security, this is the only real footage captured inside the event by Alex Jones in the year 2000. <laughs> Some believe a real human was being burned alive during the ceremony, and others believe these guys were just hammered, goofing around, letting loose, and talking business. And that there's nothing demonic or satanic going on here. You think they're all fornicating with one another? Would not surprise me. Yeah. <laughs> That's where all the big wigs hang out. Okay. That's where they party. What big wigs are we talking? Everybody. White House people. <laughs> you ever been invited? Uh, no. Would you go if you were? I have gone. Oh, yeah, I would. See, last time, uh, <laughs> was, this guy. Uh, was running for president. Al Gore. Okay. He, uh, he came through with his, his crowd, you know. This guy's a funny guy, guy, man. And all that stuff. And, uh, invited him in for a cocktail, but he refused that one. But they were on their way to the Grove at the time. Do you think they all fornicate with one another? Oh, I know they do. You have proof? No. <laughs> they have some rituals and stuff, and you have to, like, pay a large fee to be part of them. All the weird stuff, I think, happens out at that Bohemian. I really don't Very know. Very weird stuff. Hearing stories. But who knows? Who knows what goes on out there, man? I don't. I'd rather not know. <laughs> do you think they're engaging in any wizardry or druid craft? I, I, I do. I, I believe that there's some ma something magical, out, or, you know, spiritual or something out there. But uh, the Bohemian, man, it's just uh, it's, uh, a bunch of mystery. That's what I think. I know some powerful men in the, you know, in this world, world leaders that go there. I know that much. Have you seen anything interesting about the Bohemian Grove since you've been here? Wow, there, uh, you know, there's been a lot of political protests and that sort of thing. But I, I don't really uh, know much about that. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> it turns out not everyone feels too comfortable with the idea of a group of elites meeting in the secrecy of the woods to decide the fate of the rest of the country. The workers at Bohemian Grove are suing the elite club for wage theft. In fact, one worker described members as obscenely wealthy with private jets, multi-million dollar cars, $200,000 watches, homes on the beach in Malibu. They said that they would have to perform tasks that were beyond their job duties, including such as one instance where a billionaire member forgot to bring underwear to the camp and the valets were asked to hand wash it. I remember when I was a child, my mom used to protest. Really? Yeah. What was she protesting, them coming here? Uh, white men of privilege uh, living exclusive lifestyles. Okay. Not sharing the wealth. As I walked into a bookstore where the owner assured me he handpicked <laughs> every book, something about this town felt off. Like, you can't go to the Bohemian. Sure. To the Bohemian Club. I see, okay. Yeah. Like there's security and fences. And, and yeah. they don't stay here. No, they stay there. It's super interesting. I mean, and you can find a lot of stuff online. There's not a lot of published stuff about it because they're really secret. We've tried to go onto the grounds and they've told us to leave. Ooh, you think we tried again? We'd get in? I try, try. Yeah? Yeah, try. Hey there. <laughs> you know anything about the Bohemian Grove? You can't go there. Can't go there? Okay, you ever see them come through here? <laughs> no, not really. No? No, these guys are pretty secretive. All right. You try to get in there and get caught. Bye-bye. I'm dead? <laughs> it's very possible. They got security left and right there. All right. Well, pray for me. See ya. You think they'll let me in? Nope. You won't even get through the front gate, my friend. Not even a parking lot. They're that strict. So I headed down towards the nearby river to scout out a potential entryway via water. Bohemian Grove is all the way over those trees. The current looks fast. We're looking to find an owl out here. Um, I do know if you go down that road and take a left, if you keep going, there's like a barricade. It's like a weird fence. It almost looks like a bunch of metal wrapped around it and everything. Really weird. Creepy? Kind of creepy. Almost like a Resident Evil kind of vibe. Ooh. You know anything I should know about it? No, nah, not really, other than it's highly sec like security's always on patrol with them. Oh, we get people coming Very in weird. for Bohemian and everything, and you can just tell about the cars and all that stuff, so. Lamborghinis or like SUVs? A little bit of both. If you were to see a Grove member, would you be able to recognize one? Sometimes, like in the summer when they're there, because they have like certain, like, uh, they, they present that all white uh, thing sometimes. They wear like all white garb? Yeah, yeah, yeah but not, not always. That's a little bit spooky. Uh, I know there's a bunch of hookers that can stay over here while they're here. Are they hot? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, but they charge way too much. Oh, you've asked their price? <laughs> no. Uh, I'm Be honest with me. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I'm taking a day worth of bullshit to begin with. No, so, I, don't uh, <laughs> I don't think so. Half of them know what they're doing. They're around with, really. Okay. What's up, guys? Dude? 
Well, it looks like an ancient Sumerian god, and I'm sure you've seen this shit. You on... saw an owl driving in here, too, on that little lodge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, with, I mean, it's somehow related to it, but there's a lot of owls around here, too. <laughs> what is Moloch? What's, like, the simplified version of As far as I know, Moloch was uh, some sort of uh, Semitic god. I know they sacrificed uh, children to him and stuff. The only one that we know about, the, the big ritual there is they have that big owl statue and they burn a child in effigy for the what is it the cremation of care yeah yeah do you think they're burning kids out there i think they have possibly in the past well i've been back there before when i worked really yeah i worked for a septic tank company it's like the rich guys kind of private hideaway so it's like the old rich men they want to act like they're boy scouts again but uh i mean the guards are dicks. So. They're dicks? Yeah. They won't let like, us in? You try to like record them, they'll be like, they'll try to grab the camera, they'll be like, oh, f you guys. They're... Actually? Oh, yeah. yeah. They, they get pissed. They play around. Really? Yeah. Do you think to go back there's a little kid and they'd f***ing come after us? Like when I was like 10 years old, you could just, like just crawl under a barbed wire fence. Because, you know, <laughs> like up front, it's not that. It's sure. not like a prison or anything. It's not crazy. But uh, they'd get pissed for sure. <laughs> there's a lot of rumors. I don't know what's true and what's not. Never been there. Just take a left and keep going then. When they stop you, then you win in the yeah. building. Oh, we'll hit that guy. From the locals and waiting until the cover of the night, it was now time to see if <laughs> I could infiltrate the grove using an inflatable kayak I bought off Amazon, avoid security. No, he's actually going across the river. Call owl statue undetected. Alright, it is 12 12. Let's see if she loads. Yeah, she's jump in, right? Filled it all the way up. It's like sinking immediately. Okay, I'll give it a shot. The only problem was the moment I got in this kayak. I don't know if it's gonna float, dude. It filled up halfway with river water, soaking me entirely, and the current was so fast I was getting pulled <laughs> downstream. Had no chance of paddling up shore where I needed to go. I'm sinking. I'm getting swept out. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Current's too strong. The other side and just walk it up. No, dude, I'm cooked. Did you make it across? No, dude. I'm getting sucked in. I'm fighting for surviving right now, dude. I don't know where this leads. Got a branch. Oh no. I'm alive. Can you just get out? Dude, the current is fucking ridiculous. I'm halfway soaked in water right now. I'm definitely gonna get hypothermia. I mean, the closest the like exit exit point, it's gotta just be up and through the woods essentially. Yeah, I'm fine. Branches are breaking. Something that looks climbable. I'm gonna try to get out. <laughs> I made it ashore. I'm just trying to climb up a hill and get out of here. Kayak is gone. I'm fighting for survival. After yanking myself out of the river and crawling my way through someone's backyard, I barely made it back to land, my kayak was swallowed by the river, and I had to think of another way to get in the grove before sunrise. Right. We need to re-strategize the game plan right now because I don't see any feasible way of going against the current all the way across there. I don't think it's possible. I thought it was gonna end you up- You have to go with the current. The end of this river. I'm you have to go upstream and then go with the current. If you can. I failed to get in through the Russian River via kayak, so now we're just gonna bull rush straight through the mountains, jump over any fences if I see them, and hopefully not get caught. It's 2 a.m. We're running out of time before the sun rises. It's time to get this done. Cheers. With five hours until sunrise, the plan was now to hike up the woods right to the left of the main entrance, stealth hike around the security through the mountains until I made it to the owl. Uh, fuck. This is a curse. This is a curse right. backup plan. Oh, no. I would we've, not we've do this. Chat, you doing this? <laughs> road. I'm thinking this is probably the plan. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you doing this? The kayak was a death sentence out there. I'm surprised I didn't die or drown. The water was cold. I was. It would be kind of fun. I ain't gonna lie like with a bunch of people there. Like Holy. Off. I'm gonna rush into the mountains. With Hell no yeah. Light, just straight up. Uh, for legal reasons, this is all generated by AI. I'm a little bit shell-shocked from that last experience, and I am afraid of how this plays out. I do not want to go to jail. <sighs> that would suck. Here in the woods and go up the mountain. You might be in someone's backyard. A light might turn on like a, you know, motion detecting light. Sure. Just power through it, go up the hill until you're in the darkness. Right there. Right there. Go up, go straight. Up the mountain from here.
As I'm crouch hiking in pure darkness for two hours straight, I make it to this point on the map, and on my life, I hear what sounds like human feet crunching leaves in front of me, and... <sighs> so, just to double check, I wait in silence for ten minutes. I hear nothing. I move ten steps to my right. I stop. I listen. I hear the same sound of footsteps crushing through the brush and what sounds like a person going <sighs> At this point, I'm afraid for my life. So I run down the hill and decide to bum rush the main gate and see if I can sprint my way to the owl without getting caught by security. <laughs> Scared out of my mind, I ran as far as I could to Blake in the getaway car, and we sped back to our hotel to think of a final strategy to get into Bohemian Grove before sunrise. Let's go. I met with the chihuahua, and I said, put your hands up. Actually? <laughs> two hours until sunrise, I drove back now to the hotel, on edge. drank a Red Bull, and decided I would have to try one last time. Right there. That's where you're going. Yeah, I'm going in. All right, brother. Pray for me. I would not do this alone, no. It's kind of the morning stroll, yeah. mate. I jumped the gate this time. The guards must have been asleep or taking a dump because no one saw me and I ran into the cover of the darkness towards the owl, making sure to turn my flashlight off to remain undetected. Just gotta hop the gate and get out. He's close, he's so close. Nah, this is creepy. This is it. Truck just drove by. As I planked on the ground waiting for it to drive past me, he whips the car to the left, shining the light straight onto me, and I run. Oh, oh no. Get out of there. Wanna cut left? I made it to the cathedral thing. I saw him pull in. He went off road. I was like, Fuck, he's not messing around. So I sped out of there. And I made it out of <laughs> Please don't sue me. We were just curious. I apologize. But you had to let us satisfy that curiosity. While I risked my life to get a mere glimpse into the secret world of the powerful elite, <laughs> I decide on how us peasants shall live. Just know that whatever happens, I would never kill myself. <laughs> Also, whoever has the okay. TikTok or YouTube short using a clip from this video, I'll send you five hundred dollars. Post oh, let's however many times you want, but you must tag my TikTok slash YouTube at and put YouTube Tyler Oliveira in the title slash description. Let's go. Hey, thanks for watching. That was a funny video.
Do you honestly believe? I do believe that there's something weird going on, but I don't know if that's a full context. So do, elites do go there. Yeah, but I don't know the the believing of the sacrifices and shit. I mean, definitely possible, but. Interesting. I do believe I do believe that they go there to fucking rule the world though. Or talk business, that they would say.